Uh, okay, class, welcome to the first day of school. My name is Miss Westcott. I'm going to write that on the board so you all know. How to spell my name. West Cott. Oh, I thought that was Miss. <laughs> okay, so um, does anybody have anything they want to say or share that's relevant to this recording? Yes. You'll learn in my Natchez teachers I've been to at one of my schools. Okay, Kyle. All right. Okay. Um, so, um, I have left a packet of information there on your table, and there's a little card there. I want everyone to write something on the card, like maybe three or four sentences of something about yourself, but don't put your name on it because we're going to read those sentences and we're going to guess. It's called Guess Who is our game. And we're gonna, this is gonna be like get to know our friend game. And so whenever you're through with those, if you'll raise your hand, I'll come get them from you so we can um, get started with our game. Are you through, Lily? Okay, perfect. Everyone is through? Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. We're going to, I'm going to read these. Wait, don't, don't scream out somebody's name until after I get done reading it. And um, we're going to, we're going to read the entire thing and then we're going to guess who it is. So just raise your hand if you think you know who it is. Okay. I don't like girls. <laughs> well, that was, I love cool shoes. I like friends. I don't like bugs. Well, most of us don't like bugs. I hate them. Okay, so who do we think it is? Yeah, I think, I, I think, oh, it, I, get I think it's, I think you're right. I think it's Kyle. Kyle, do you have anything you want to add to that? I don't like girls. You don't I like girls? They're smelly. I'm like they say we are. Okay, okay. Um, okay, good. You can just leave it at your desk. Okay. The next one is I love to read the Bible and I love cats and dogs. I love cats and dogs. That would be Addie. Do you have anything else you want to tell us about yourself, Addie? What did you do over the summer? I went to Texas. And what did you do in Texas? Uh, I went to the state convention. Awesome. So did you have a good time on the way, uh, traveling there and traveling back? Did you see some some really educational things? Um, we you did uh, see saw some. some of the awesome, like we saw um, Daddy's friend and his name was Larry. And you also stopped maybe at some um, um, some places that were like spots that you needed like you know like places that what's the word I'm looking for here places that you would stop to like tourist attractions like what I tell you oh okay <laughs> okay so let's move right along the next person is I have brown hair and blue eyes I like animals my favorite color is green that would be Ellie. Everybody knows who it is, right? <laughs> y'all are just too easy because y'all all know each other too well. Okay. Okay. The next one is, I love dogs. I'm sitting with my friends. I love school. My favorite color is teal. <laughs> I think that, who do you say it is? It's, it's Kristen. It's Kristen. It's Lily. It's Kristen. Okay, it's me. It's Kristen. Wait, you okay. don't have brown hair. I didn't see that. Okay. I like cats and dogs. It was Dee Dee. She's the last person. It was Dee Dee. Okay. That was good. That was a good Whoops. little thing. Okay. So, does anybody have anything else they want to say? Tell us something about your summer. Okay, tell us something about your summer, Kyle. I went to Choo Choo Train. <laughs> you did. Yep. A train. A train. It's a train that we and, 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 and I met a friend 
that I laugh so hard. It hurt my spine and my yeah, everything else. It hurt uh, my ribs a lot. We don't need to okay. know that. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now we feel like we know each other. And yeah. Okay. All right. The next thing that we're going to talk about is class expectations. So, what are some things that we would use? We would um, use as expectations in our class. Can you think of some things that we might want to put on our board that would be our expectations, Patty? Um, don't hit one another. Right, that's a good expectation. No, keep your hands to yourself. And okay, anybody else have another one? Mm -hmm. Don't call out when the teacher's talking. Good job, Kyle. So you should listen when other people are talking. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Addie? Um, line up when you're told. Line up, yes, that's a good one. Okay, so I have some class expectations that I have um, thought about. So I'm thinking like maybe be respectful. Okay, so when I say be respectful, what might that mean? Maybe listen to your teacher or listen to your classmates or listen when other people are talking and wait your turn to talk. So we're going to say listen when others are talking. Okay. Another thing that I was thinking is how about be responsible? Right? Okay, so what would I be, what would, what would that mean to you when I say be responsible? Ellie? Be responsible <coughs> for your actions. Be responsible for your actions. If you make a mess, clean it up. If you make a mess, clean it up. Clean up after yourself. How about maybe come to class on time. Have your pencil sharpened and be ready to learn. How about that? Yeah. So let's just put be responsible okay be on time have your pencil ready and ready to learn. Okay, how about be honest? What does that mean? Tell the truth. Tell the truth, exactly. And you know what? If you don't understand something, then you need to raise your hand and ask the question because we want everybody to understand. We want to master everything about what we're gonna learn this year, right? So if you don't understand it, just be honest and raise your hand and say, I don't understand. We talk about this a little bit more. So we're going to put be honest. Okay. How about be polite? What does that mean? I'm not interrupting anyone. Wait your turn. Listen to others when they're talking. Um, how, what about expressing yourself in a nice way. And if you disagree with someone, it's okay to disagree, but just don't be rude about it. Can we all agree to that? What? If you disagree with someone, just don't be rude about it, right? Just be nice. So we're gonna put, be polite, be nice. Does everybody understand what expectations is? Mm -hmm. It's how we're going to live this year. How we're going to get along with each other. So we're going to, these are our expectations of how we're all going to cooperate with each other in this classroom. And how if we all are use these expectations, then we're all going to learn a lot this year, right?
Yes, Addie. Can I use the recipes? Yes, you can. And as a matter of fact, we have a clip chart right here. So when you go to the bathroom, you clip yourself down to the bathroom. And your clip is right here, and the bathroom is right down the hall. And you know how to go there and then come straight back, right? Okay, so clip your clip right down to you're going to the bathroom. Okay, great. So, um, let's see, the next thing on my list. Yes. thing to do so but just so you know we're going to explain this is our clip chart and if you go somewhere like if you need to go to the bathroom you will clip yourself from class to bathroom if you need to go to the library for any reason then you will clip yourself to the library I can go to the if you go to the office you clip yourself down to the office if you go to the nurse for any reason clip yourself down to the nurse okay and we, when I make the permanent one for our room, we may have a few other choices here at the bottom, but you will know when you come, need, and if you need to go to the bathroom, all you need to do if we're in the middle of working or doing something, as long as I'm not talking, then you need to come over here and stand and look at me and tell me where you're going, and then I will say yes. Go ahead, and that means you clip yourself down out so we know where you are. If I'm looking around trying to find somebody, so I know where you're at. And then when you come back to the room, you will clip your, you will take your clip and move it back up to I'm in class now. Does that make sense? Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and go over procedures for our classroom. Is there a room now? Good job, Addie. I think you've done this before, right? You've done this before. Okay, so you know how the clip chart works? Yes. Oh. So when you need to go somewhere, Addie, you can, you just raised your hand, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You can come stand right here. If we're not, if I'm talking, then normally I want you to raise your hand. If we're just doing work, then you raise your hand, or no, don't raise your hand. Just come over and stand by this clip chart, and then I will say yes, you can go to the bathroom, and then you click yourself down, and then when you come back, you clip yourself back to the class, okay? Okay. Yes, Kyle? Is there going to be a, a chart where if you do bad, you have to put your clips at the top. If you do good, though, then you can put your clips at the bottom. We will have a clip chart, but we will also have class dojo where you earn points and get points taken away, which I'm getting ready to explain in just a moment, okay? <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with some procedures. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is beginning the day. When we come into the classroom at the beginning of the day, the first thing you're going to do is put up your, you're going to come into the classroom quietly and politely. You can speak to your friends, but use your inside voice and talk low and put your backpacks away in your cubby and your jackets or whatever it is that you brought with you, you know, lunchbox or whatever, put it in your cubby. Then you're going to come to the front of the room. To our smart board here and you're going to click your lunch choice so you're going and that's how we're going to take roll every day you're going to click your lunch choice and you're going to um, you know pick which lunch you want or if you brought a lunch you're going to pick that too that's an option I packed my lunch so that's the first thing you're going to do is click click yourself in on dojo and then go to your seat pull out your work and start working on your work quietly at your desk until we move on to something else. Anybody have any questions about that? Mm -hmm. Yes, Kyle. Um, do we pack our own lunchbox? You can eat in the school cafeteria. You can eat in the school cafeteria, okay? Okay, so now speaking about Class Dojo. Class Dojo, has anybody had Class Dojo before? Okay, Class Dojo is a, um, it's a, it's a computer-based system, and you earn points and you lose points. 
and your parents are also logged into Class Dojo and they can um, see when you earn a point, when you lose a point, and what for. So, um, can you back up a little bit? Okay, so Class Dojo is taking a point, <laughs> saving the point. Stop it right there. <laughs> Mason, I really don't need you to be right in my face. Go sit down. You don't need to be right on top of me. <laughs> okay. So Class Dojo is Yes. Class Dojo is you earn a point, you get a point taken away. So as long as you are acting how we're supposed to as long as everyone is doing all of the things that we talked about in our um, expectations, then people will earn points. <laughs> and if you do something exceptional, like say you help a friend, or you do something exceptional, then you will earn extra points. If you um, are not following the expectations, then you may lose some points, okay? There will be rewards for points. I have not put that together yet, but I will. You, there will be rewards for points. If you earn this many points, you will get a reward. And you get to pick your reward out of this selection. Mm -hmm. So you can spend your points, okay? The number two thing we're going to talk about is when we're lining up. We're going, when I say line up, class, we will line up one table at a time at the door in a straight line with your arms down by your side. So we're going to practice that in a few minutes. We're going to practice lining up. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that right now. So why don't we all line up one table at a time in a straight line at the doorway. You're at the 17 mark. Huh? You're at the 17 mark. Okay, good. Some of this I'll have to cut out. Hello, Mrs. Campbell. Okay. <coughs> so then I want you to walk down to the end of the hallway and then walk back like you should as you're if you're in a line at school. Everybody did a great job. Okay, so number three, entering the room. We just did that. You enter politely, you talk softly, you find your seat, sit down, and um, start working on your work. Okay, so when we leave the room, you're going to come over here, you're going to move your clip chart, and we will have a hall pass that you will pick up. I don't have those yet. We will have a hall pass. We will take the hall pass with you. When you need to use the restroom, when we need to use the restroom, what do you think the procedures are for that? Not only this part, but when you go to the bathroom. Do we, do we play in the bathroom? Okay, so how do you think we should go, go to the bathroom and come back? You pee and get out. Or you pee and wash your hands and get out. Okay, Kristen, let's start all over. How should we go to the bathroom and uh, come back? When you go to the bathroom, what? When you're walking to the bathroom, what do you do? You raise your hand and ask and pull your foot back. And you then go, what do you do? You go and then you come back straight. Yeah. And, and what do you do while you're walking? You be quiet. You just go dancing, singing down the hallway. <laughs> no. You walk quietly, and hands beside your side. And then what do you do when you're in the bathroom? You just raise your hand and you come back. Exactly. Good job, Kristen. Exactly. Did everybody hear that? Yes. Any questions? Yes, Kyle. I didn't hear the last part. You you use it quickly and come straight back. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, when we are doing homework, you will hand in your homework every when you're done with it. At the end of each little section, I will have a homework basket, and you will put your homework in the basket. Okay. Yes. Will we have recess? We will have recess. We will always have recess. Okay, throwing away your trash. If you have trash, we have a trash can up here. You need to stand up, walk up to the trash can, put your trash in the trash can. The trash can is not for basketball. 
Basketballs are for outside on the playground at the basketball. We will not throw our trash in. Please stand up and take your trash to the trash can so that we don't have trash all over the floor. And if you happen to walk to the trash can and you happen to just see something on the floor, will you just pick it up? It doesn't matter if it's yours or not. We all are responsible for keeping our brain clean, okay? Um, all right, one other thing that I want to tell you, that I meant to tell you earlier, and I forgot to tell you, is that if I need your attention for some reason, our signal, which is the signal that's used in our school already, and some of you probably already know this, but our signal is going to be, if we're getting, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this, and then you're going to do it, and as soon as you do it, that means we are all stopping what we're doing, looking at me, and being quiet. So the signal will be, have y'all heard that before? Yes. Yes. Okay, so if I do it, then I want y'all to do it next. And then stop what you're doing. Ready? Excellent, excellent. So when I need your attention, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be in the room and I'm going to go. Okay, good job. Y'all got that already. Good job. Okay, so at the end of the day, um, what we will do is I will tell you at the end of the day, I will say, guess what, guys? It's time to go home. We're going to pack our stuff up. I don't want you to do that before I tell you to do it. I want you to just complete your work and keep working until I say, because I will be watching the clock, and I will let you know when it's time to pack up and get ready for, for going home. And we will all have assigned bus bells. Some people will be going to the bus rider line. Some people will, will be going to the car rider line. and Or some people will be going to daycare. So we will have a certain bell and we will know where you are and we will put you in that line and send you where you need to be. So we will, I will prompt us on that and you just need to get your stuff together when I tell you to, okay? Okay, does anybody have any questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, Kyle. Is Jesus in or out? It could be both. Yes, Ellie. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may. Um, is there a playground outside? There is a playground outside. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Does anybody else have any more questions about our first day and our expectations and our procedures? Yes, Kyle. Um. Can uh, can you do laundry? Uh. Yes. We will walk to the library after a while. Okay. Okay? All right. So I'm going to read this book to you. Actually, I'm just going to stand up and do it. I'm going to read. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to have, I just kind of wrote these kind of quickly. So I didn't write anything on this side. But I did write them on this side. And I did this. So we're going to make permanent signs for our room with our procedures and our expectations. They will be up here for you to see. If we forget, we can do, we can look up here and be reminded of what they are. Okay? Okay, I'm going to read this book. It's called My Favorite Book. Might be a little young for you, but it's a really good book, so I'm going to read it anyway. Okay? The first page is about good manners. Being polite is simple to do. It is kindly, respectful, and sometimes fun, too. Hello, I'm Sherry, and I'm pleased to meet you. People say I have good manners because I say please and thank you, and I am polite to others. My friends and I show good manners when we listen to the grown-ups in charge and follow their rules. We respect our parents, our teachers, or anyone who is taking care of us. 